Every day, Milan Lahani leaves his small farmhouse in the Himalayan foothills and walks half an hour to school. He studies in Galcott, a small town five hours drive along bumpy dirt tracks from the nearest road. It's a picturesque but remote town in central Nepal. Milan's school library had relied on second-hand books sent by overseas donors until three years ago when the internet came to town. Using small, solar-powered wireless transmitters mounted on mobile phone masts, the Himanchal Education Foundation has been able to deliver internet connections to rural village networks across the country. Mahabir Pun, the founder of the organisation, demonstrated a web portal set up for the villagers to share educational content, news and to sell goods. The website has to be simple because this is for the villagers. The, the audience, uh, you know, are the are the villagers. You know, they are not that uh, well educated people. So we have to put these icons uh, uh, so that they can find the things they they want to get easily. You know, the first thing is now people in the rural areas they have gotten chance to you know at least new- look at the newspaper, which was not which is not available. We still uh, we don't get any paper newspaper there. So this is how they are using it. You know. For Milan, the new computer lab in his school has brought many new possibilities. I have got chance from Golgot Higher Secondary School. In my school, I have chance to computer. There's weekly two, three days can I chance in my school. It has taken him and his classmates little time to work out how to utilize the information they find online for getting news, information for study, and helping their families farm. Milan explained how he used the net to help increase his mother's crops, but admitted he finds it hard to explain to his parents where the information comes from. Actually, my mother says, what is net? <laughs> he don't, she doesn't know. But literally, literally, all can understand about it and they can, they can use that. Walking through Milan's school, I noticed children in the corners huddled around mobile phones, which inspired a question to Milan's class. How many of you use Facebook? I asked, to which almost all of the 30 pupils raised their hands. Totally, I have 110, 20, my friends in my Facebook. I have talking with it and sharing links. Unsurprisingly, the school library was empty when I visited, but the computer lab was buzzing with activity. It seemed unfair to expect the students to pour over moulding second-hand books from Europe when they could be connecting to the world in the computer lab. <laughs> and it is the <laughs> good for everywhere. We can know about the world, in the world what happens. That makes our life easy. That's uh, all. Without net, uh, we can we don't get most knowledge. That's it. It helps everything in our life. It helps net helps. This is DJ Clark in Galcott, Nepal, for China Daily.